Oh wow, the, the Waco. The one needle. Up throw doesn't get the nuclear. Double down air. Trying to throw that down to uh, give him the, the old nudge. Oh, that oh, was misses the. K9 had the read on the tech, but it was just a little bit too close. Uh, underestimated Pitbull's roll distance. Uh, that's always unfortunate. Up airs. Pitbull is uh, doing really well right now. He's not letting not letting Sheik do anything. And as I say that, the fairs. Are we going to the fair? Okay. Wow. Going for a ride on the fair plane? Oh, great. Calling out the jump. Is that going to take it? Almost. I, uh, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I would have liked to see that take it off the top. Because, you know, that shouldn't take it off the top. Ooh, that was a... Never mind. I, I do like that recovery. Ooh, just going for the, uh... Trying to call out maybe him doing an aggressive option, but... Level 99 started my heart on that dare. And now, uh... Oh hit. my god, the F smash actually almost killed. That should be unfortunate. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, oh. it is. Definitely. K9 was uh, looking shaky in the beginning, but he just kept getting chic things and ended up bringing it all the way back. Oh my god, that oh, F smash Great, again. perfect shield. He called out that K9 was gonna go for a photo in f just in front of him with the F smash. It would have worked, but K9 just slightly fast enough to get the perfect shield out. Right now, Purple trying to pay this play, play this patient uh, playstyle, just trying to get a raw read on uh, K9 just to take the stock, but it's it's not looking, it's not really working because K9 really calm. He knows he's in the lead. He has that's he has Pitbull scared. That's happened to him. Oh, that was an interesting hitbox. Oh, unfortunate. Right now, the car at 80, basically at a. Max Aura. Oh, wow, that, 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 that was that throw sent a little, a little too far for comfort. Oh, he okay, tried to, Jana. he tried to get that, uh, beefy smash dude's tech. He just didn't want the rage, you know, he wanted his, his confirms. Uh, I hope, why would you want that? Then you could kill Lucario earlier. Exactly, he wanted to get his, no why do you want to reset confirmed. rage? Like, Sheik already has a hard time killing, and then once you reset that, you have to do another 20% before you can I'm think about- I'm just trying to be positive here, man. You know what? I can't blame you for that. Oh, that was a lot of hits. Man, you remember, remember the good old days when I would just break shields? <laughs> now you have to try. But, that's an no-rage combo right there. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff to the canine. Taking uh, this game one or this game two. Okay, so now just Pitbull switch here because he's definitely made it work with Lucario before, mm -hmm. but it wasn't looking like it was that game. Maybe he'll make an adjustment that we're gonna see here. Uh, I think Lucario was uh, working. It just, once K9 would do chic things, it's hard for Lucario to stop getting hit. He definitely could have brought that back or won the game, but he just needs to make a couple adjustments so he can properly deal with K9 chic. Oh, the jab's coming out. We'll go for the re-grab. Not fast enough, unfortunately. K9 just not letting people breathe right now. Goes for the forward AO Good bouncing roll. Yeah. Uh, people just getting the tech. Oh, not not going for another up air. Right now, this game has just been slap, 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 slap. All right, another grab. Not gonna find the confirm. Oh, getting the uh, air dodge read with first hit down air. Yeah, that it's kind of unfortunate for people. He only got one hit of down air. Well, you usually want one hit of down air. In that situation, you would have won the second one, but if he was a little lower to the ground, yeah, first well, hit down here would have been amazing. Yeah, if it would confirm into his side B, there it would work, but unfortunately, 
it in the air like that high up, he needed the second hit. Ooh, that was, he didn't get the uh, correct auto cancel on the bouncing fish, so he's gonna eat that at forward there. I'm not gonna find that up smash. Pitbull just going to the other side of the stage. Jab, jab, F tilt. Oh, he tried to get the neutral air, but great DI from Pitbull. Goes in with the forward throw. Gets the forward air, but not gonna find the stock. Falling looking for an air dodge read, but uh, Pitbull not giving it to him. That's gonna. Now, uh, Bounce Fish is gonna take it. Up so gets the neutral. Oh, he doesn't get the pratfall. That would have been. That would have been a pretty good punish. Or, pretty good combo coming out from Pitbull. Oh, I think he was looking for the uh, ledge jump, but he didn't find it. Up so doesn't get the neutral at that time. K9 on point with these techs right now. Missing the, uh, missing the air again, but not getting any punish off the air dodge. Dash right tag just going straight through that. People trying oh, to find he read the roll. Good punish on the get up. Uh, trying to catch a two frame with the uh, four spear, but not big enough yet to hit Sheik below the ledge, or at least consistently. But now, both characters at 90%. If Gainai can keep him off stage, yeah, he went for another bouncing fish, but Pitbull was ready for it at that time. Went with a high recovery, which was a great option. Oh wow, that that is such a scary position to be in. Just right underneath the platform against the Sheik, because you know the Sheik. Ooh, that up was here sick. barely catching him right there. That up here was sick, actually. Yeah, it's like really close, too. Like, he barely got hit with that up here. Oh, yeah, you saw that. That was. Sheik's a good character, so once she gets one hit up here, they're all gonna hit. Yeah. Poor good ninja. <laughs> hey, you're a little. Well, sometimes falling out of the up air is really good. You can. Most of the time, Greninjas can choose to either hit the full up air or just drag them down. But enough about that, we're playing Sheik. All I'm saying is it doesn't look like that. So it would be nice if it did sometimes. Ah, uh, that's true. Ooh. Oh, okay, great. Oh, there we go. He's just literally Sheik. standing there just pressing buttons. Things. And, and yeah, what was Lucario supposed to do? He couldn't re grab the ledge, he couldn't do anything, he was just stuck there having to take that damage. Ooh, neither player catching anyone. Oh, he went for a lock there with the down air. I uh, I really like that option. I don't I don't quite know what all you get off it, but. Oh my god, he's super down to the ledge, gets the up smash. Yeah, that, oh, that's that exactly sick. what you want to do. Just take these uh, stocks as early as you possibly can against Lucario. And only at 78%, this is really good for K9 right now. Oh, missing the Nair. But now, K9 is just playing amazing. He, he, if you see him, he just has, he has his entire thing down. Oh my god, that back air actually just almost killed him right there. Oh, missing the fair again. Yeah, but, I mean, when you throw a thousand... 200 can miss and it still looks good. Definitely. Right now, Pickle just uh, playing calm. No, he's at a bit of a deficit, but he knows he can bring it back if he just makes the right reach. But K9 is not giving it to him right now. He is playing out of his mind. Yeah, K9 definitely wants his run back on Zenyu. Alright, that was an interesting oh, okay. interaction. I wasn't ready for that F smash to be honest, but apparently K9 was. Oh wow, Pitbull had the read. Guess he wasn't expecting that option. Great fear to get the car away from you. Don't want to get caught in those Aura Spheres. And K9 has to be careful with where he's landing. One Aura Sphere could, or uh, will 100% be his stock. Oh, though, actually and catching him on some suspect DI. That throw away, that throw was too fast, also Aura Spear. Things. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, this is exactly where Pitbull wants K9 at 18%. <laughs>
Right now, uh, it's a that, pretty big. Oh no! You know what? I I was making fun of Greninja for that happening earlier, but apparently it happens to Sheik too sometimes. Right now, it may look like a big deficit, but this is exactly where Pitbull wants you. At 30% and scared. Look at that up throw. That did so much percent. This is a completely even game. Yeah. Like, oh my god, that was that's a, a max. That's a max aura. That's a projectile. That's a root. <laughs> Look at him. Look, shook it. Yeah, canine's scared right now. I be too. As you should be. Like, look at that. Like, wait. Oh my god. This is exactly where, uh, this is exactly where Pitbull wanted you to be. He was standing in the corner, charging Aura Spear, knowing there's not much you can do to get in right now. Jeez. Man, the card is broken. That. That was, um. <laughs> that was a comeback. Definitely running he into that up air. He ran under the forward air and up air at him, and it just killed him. Yeah, he did it. Just the card, I think. So, uh, game three going to FD. Definitely a good stage for Sheik. Uh, I do know Lucario likes this stage just because it's really easy to up B onto the platform. There's not many things that'll mess you up. Yeah, not only that, but it's going to be difficult if it comes down to a situation like that for Kenan to avoid these aura spheres. I like the edge guard. I like, I like that attempt. We're hitting him on the DI mix-up with the down throw. Well, if, he, if he didn't down it, that definitely would have hit. Oh. Okay, but K9 is angry that that took game three from him. Yeah, He's was... coming in hot right now, only 47%. Answering with the quick Tinder combo, gets the F tilt, resets it with another photo, gets the needles as well. He had oh, the lead on the high recovery, but Pitbull just ran right into him. Yeah, extreme speed to turn around the other direction so he can get some uh, chance to charge his aura and just get him off stage. But right now, like you said, K9 was not happy. That should have been his 30. Oh, I love that grab. That was, that was a pretty far grab, actually. So, this is, again, not out of the woods for Lucario. Really never is. Yeah, no, Lucario, definitely one of the best com comeback characters. Oh, gets the ran force up bomb. and just command grab him. I thought he just regular grabbed him, but no. Alright, quick 16. Oh, he had the. He, he just stood there. He had the read. He could have uh, hit him with a diamond cutter. But this is not looking good. Already up throw, double up air, doing a good 53%. Already at 70%. He's mounting this comeback. This is. All right, back to even. Yeah, just like that, K9 had such a good start, but man, people obviously knows that he can bring these back. Oh, he tried to read the roll. I know, K9 trying to trying to play calm, not get too scared by Lucario shenanigans again. He's just trying to take this home because he does not want a game five. Definitely. K9 is uh, playing a lot more patient than he was uh, game three. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, but this is what I was saying. Oh my god, that every time I see that, that's a oh, that's it. that's it. And I like I said, it's going to be so hard for K9 to deal with Lucario just sitting on the other side of the stage, charging up these oil spheres and throwing them out at him because they charge up so fast. He can't really close the gap when he has to play Frogger trying to get across the stage while not getting hit with oil spheres. Yeah, and then you just get hit by a. Uh, by a, a random, not random, but uh, B reverse or spear into up smash. So. K9 thinking hard about this one, going back to Final Destination. We got game five. We got, we got what looked like was gonna be a 30 into a game five situation because Lucario's comeback is, his comeback potential is that big. Ooh, I don't, I don't understand how that near missed. I'm going for the tomahawk, but uh, Pitbull striking first. Yeah, I feel like what's kind of happening is K9 comes out really strong and just kind of deletes Pitbull's stock, but then he kind of gets in this, well, I got the first stock, all I have to do is, um, all I have to do is one more stock, and he lets Pitbull bleed just a little bit. And that's definitely one of the things you never really want to do, especially against Sakario, but against most characters, when you take the first stock and just think, oh, it's over, because then you get that confidence, and it just, a lot of the times it'll turn out where, 
especially against Lucario, he can just mount it so easily, and then you'll be like, what happened? I had this lead, what's happening? Then you yeah. maybe start to get tilted or get flustered, and that's exactly what, uh... A Wait! He did it again. I'm, I'm tired of Lucario just turning around his up B at the end of a... At the end of his, uh, extreme scene, just killing people at 80%. But a great awareness from, from Pitbull right now. K9 must not be happy about that, he must be thinking, how did I let myself get hit by that? Yeah. But answering back, getting the bouncing fish. And man, K9 is moving in his chair right now. Yeah, some say if you, uh, listen close, you can hear him actually hitting the buttons on his controller. <laughs> so we have, a uh, Game 5 on FD. No... No other way you'd want it. FD this is what separates the boys from the men. Oh, that was a great jump back photo catching the roll. Here we go, K9 gets that photo. Does it oh. get the bounce fish? Gets clipped. Oh, they're standing a little bit. Now he has to land against Lucario. But luckily, uh, getting back pretty easy. So right now, uh, Pitbull uh, doesn't look worried. Only at 80%. Like we said, that's what he wants. It's hard for Sheik to kill Lucario unless he's off stage. And uh, if you'll notice, Pitbull has been recovering pretty, pretty well. Unless uh, K9 just calls out one of his get up options like oh, that. Oh, the bouncing fish is oh. going to be enough. K9 able to bring it back on the verge of getting reverse 3-0. Yeah, you could tell he did not want.